Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to download and install like Zero's minimap in Minecraft 1.13.2. First and foremost, I don't want to apologize for any echoing in the audio and things like that. I know it's there, but I had to get this video recorded and out to you guys. We're going to be fixing it. We've got foam ordered and all that stuff, but we just moved into this house like three days ago. So yeah, anyway, long story short, we're going to get fixed and this should be the last video that has this sort of an echo in it. Anyway, let's go ahead and just jump right into this. But first, we have a message from our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. You can go to the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get an awesome 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for just a few bucks a month. We love Apex so much, we actually use our own server to uh, be hosted on them. We use them to host our own server. Anyway, got my words tied there. Basically, we use Apex ourselves, and you'll love Apex as well. You can check out Apex again at the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Get an awesome 24-hour DDoS protected server for a great price. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and get Exarios. Ex Exaros? Ex Exarios? I don't know how to say it, so I'm going to apologize in advance if I am saying it wrong. But nevertheless, this is a minimap mod for 1.13.2. As you can see, pretty cool minimap mod keeps the aesthetics of vanilla minecraft and uh, yeah there are two editions design one designed for multiplayer and one not designed for multiplayer we're going to be design installing the one not designed for multiplayer today but uh yeah let's uh let's go ahead and just jump right on into it first and foremost you want to go to the second link down below and it will take you here where you want to click on the earlier versions right there then once you have clicked on earlier versions you want to make sure this is for 1.13.2 and once you've made sure of that you can come over and click the orange download button right here it will then take us off to the download page where we have to wait five seconds and once those five seconds are complete it'll pop up on the center of our screen on mozilla firefox that we need to download it if you're on google chrome it'll pop up in the bottom left that you need to confirm the file as long as it starts with xeros and ends in dot jar you're going to go ahead and save it on mozilla firefox and keep it in Google Chrome in the bottom left. Now we're not done downloading yet. We need to go to the fourth link down below and it will take you here. This is our in-depth tutorial on how to download and install Forge, but you don't need to go through this tutorial unless you have any issues. If you do have any issues installing Forge in this, uh, with this video, then this will help you out. But nevertheless, all we want to do is click on this green download Forge button where it takes us off to Forge's official website where it says I have an ad blocker and then loads ads because I don't use ad blocker. It's very odd, but nevertheless, once we're here, we want to make sure that this is 1.13.2 and it is MC 1.13. .2 there. Good, good. If it's not, we just need to come over here to the left-hand side, click on 1.13, click on 1.13.2, and it will take us here. We then want to click on the installer button right here under download latest. Click on installer, and it will take us off to add focus. We're don't click anything. Stop. Don't click anything on this page. Not a thing except the red skip button. As you can see, please wait one, and boom, the red skip button is now there. Go ahead and click on that red skip button and then it will open up a download link. Don't click anything else on this page. And when you do have this download pending, make sure it in, begins in forge and ends in dot jar. So it starts in forge, ends in dot jar. Then we're good to save the file on Mozilla Firefox. Now on Google Chrome, it's done the same thing, but in the bottom left, where it's gonna make sure, we're gonna make sure it says forge and ends in dot jar. And if it does, we can save it on Mozilla Firefox and keep it on Google Chrome in the bottom left. So let's go ahead and do that. And now if we minimize our browser here on our desktop, we have Xerios Minimap, which I'm sure I'm saying wrong, and Forge. If these aren't on your desktop, no worries, they're in your downloads folder. Just click on this little Windows icon. It's in the top left for me. It's in the bottom left of your screen, that little Windows icon there. Click on that, type in downloads, and then you should have a downloads folder here. Click on that and you'll find Xero's Minimap and Forge in your downloads folder. Drag into your desktop just for ease of use. Once these are on your desktop, we're going to be starting off with Forge. So go ahead and right click on it and then click on Open With. Now you should have Java TM Platform SE Binary. If you don't, no worries. We have a solution for you. Just go to the link in the description down below that says download the Java JDK or download Java or download the Java SDK. Basically what we're doing is we're downloading the Java development kit here. It's going to be like the fifth link or something like that in the description down below. I've lost track this point. But nevertheless, come down there and click on the download the Java JDK link and it will take you here where you want to go through this tutorial. It shows you how to get the correct one for your computer, all of that stuff. Then you should be able to open up Forge. Now if you're still having options, maybe even you had the Java JDK option and it still wouldn't let you open it and it was erroring out, you need to run the jar fix, which you can also find linked in the description down below. If you go down there and click on that, it will take you here, how to use the jar fix to repair jar files on your PC. And this is where you will walk you through all of that stuff. But as you can see, it's just as easy as downloading another program and running it and you're good to go. Now, if we minimize our browser, we can finally right click on Forge, click on Open With, click on Java TM Platform SE Binary and click OK. 
It will then open up the Forge installer here. We want to click on Install Client, click OK, and now it'll go through and install everything. Now, if it does error out here, you need to run the jar fix or you need to run Minecraft 1.13.2 vanilla right so that means just go run minecraft 1.13.2 with no mods installed no anything like that and then you'll be good to go now let's go ahead and click ok because as you can see it's successfully installed forge click ok there and now we need to install xerios minimap to do this we need to click on that window windows icon against the top left for me it's in the bottom left for you that little windows icon click on that and then this time we want to type in run r u n and then it should have a run desktop app here. Click on that and it will open up this search sort of bar. In this search bar here, we want to type in percent app data percent percent sign app data percent sign exactly like that and then click enter or OK. And then it will open up our roaming folder here. Then we want to go into dot Minecraft where we should have a mods folder. But Nick, I don't have a mods folder. What do I do? Well, neither do I. So don't freak out. Just right click, create a new folder, title that folder mods, M-O-D-S, all lowercase, exactly like that. And then open up your mods folder. Then you want to take in the Xerio minimap file you downloaded, drag it into your mods folder here. And now we can go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher. Now, don't be going ahead and slamming the play button just yet. Wait, hold on. What we need to do first is come work down here next to the play button, click on that little green arrow, and you should have a Forge profile. If you do, go ahead and click it and then click play. If you don't, however, no worries. You're going to need three lines up here in the top right. Click on launch options here, and then you want to add a new profile. So click add new. Now we can name this whatever, but we're going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com. Why is that? Because that is the best 1.13.2 grief protected survival server in the multiverse. You know how I said that this minimap had a fair play option and you could use it on servers? Well, that's the case with our server. You can use this minimap on our server using its fair play equivalent. So um, yeah, it's the same installation process and you can use it on play.breakdowncraft.com. So come play with us. It's the best 1.13.2 Greek protected survival server. We've also got an incredible Skyblock community over there. So come play with us again, play.breakdowncraft.com. But nevertheless, under version here, we want to go ahead and click on where it says latest release. And instead, we want to click on release 1.13.2-Forge. If you have multiple versions, just click on the one with the highest number at the end. For example, 79 is much higher than 44, so we want to click on 79. I'm going to go ahead and change my resolution. You don't need to do this, but uh, I'm doing it just so we can see once we get in-game. Then we can go ahead and click Save. Come back over here to the News tab. Click on the little green arrow next to the Play button. Click on Play.BreakdownCraft.com and then click on play. It'll now go ahead and launch up Minecraft 1.13.2 with Forge installed, but more importantly, Xario's minimap installed. It's a very, very simple process to install this minimap, and it is one of my favorites out there. I actually like it a bit better than Voxel minimap, because I feel like it tries to keep the aesthetic of Minecraft, and Voxel doesn't necessarily do that. However, if you do want to see how to get Voxel minimap, you can check out the eye at the top of your screen, and you'll be good to go. It says there's a newer version of this mod available, no worries, we can just go ahead and click no, we don't want to open the mod page. Then we can go ahead and click on single player here. I'm just going to launch into this world where we'll immediately be able to see the minimap in the top right. Once this world's loaded up, we will, I was going to say, well, I'll see you, but it looked like it was going to go ahead and have me. There we go. Actually, it's in the top left up here. We can see the minimap. And it will go ahead and get things loaded on in. There we go. It has now loaded in everything around. It took about 30 seconds to load everything in around us here. But now you can see it is absolutely beautiful up there in the top left. If you have any questions, any concerns, anything like that about Exario's minimap, please post those in the comment section down below. Come join us at play.breakdowncraft.com, the best server in the multiverse. And be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if it helped you out. Anyway, my name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. Thank you so, so much for watching, and I am out. Peace.